Hey guys, welcome back. It's Matt here, back again with my Pixel 4a 5G. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at the top 10 Android apps of August for 2021. So just wanna say before we start, this might be the last time ever filmed in this room. So I've been filming in this room for years now, like literally if you scroll back to my video six years ago, you can see they're filmed in this room. This may be the last video on my channel that's filmed here. So thumbs up for that and also subscribe and hit that bell icon. But without further ado, let's jump straight into it. Okay, so I'll put up a screen recording right here so you guys can see what I'm doing. But this is my home screen. I'm rocking the standard stock Pixel launcher. I've got the standard stock icons and there's really not a lot going on. I am using the new beta, so I'm using the new Android 12, which is actually really nice. I did a separate video on that. So if you would like to see some more in depth on Android 12 and some of the latest features, definitely do go and watch that video. Okay, so the first app on the list is called Tweak. This is basically a reminders app combined with a calendar app for the week. So jumping into it, we are greeted with this nice slick interface. So at the top here, we have our month with our year, and then we have these sections, which are kind of like a notepad, and you have your days. So you have the 10th, 11th, 12th, and you can put in there your reminders for that day in any order you like. And then once you complete them, you can go and tick them off using this checker box. So if you just click on that, can see I've just ticked off create a top app video and now I know that I finished that so it's kind of like a reminders app combined with a calendar but I like how simple it is and you can scroll through the months as well so you can use these arrows up top to actually go and scroll through all your different dates I don't have too much in here right now and if you jump into the settings you can actually publish a read-only version of your calendar so say you want someone to know your schedule say you're working with someone then they might need that so you can go ahead and share it with them Pretty cool and you can also add different members as well so you can all interact and add various things to the calendars. And something really nice is that when you reach the end of the day, if you haven't completed any tasks, it will automatically move the tasks to the next day. So pretty cool feature. Now for all of you guys who want the latest widgets for Android 12, this is definitely gonna be one for you. So even though I have the beta right now, there's still no widgets. And so I downloaded this app, which brings some of the widgets across. So yes, there's some premium features that you can unlock with a payment but you don't really need it. There's quite a lot of default ones included and I'm actually making use of this on my main home screen. So this is actually from the app and there's no add-on required. You just need to download this app, jump into your widgets and then you can go ahead and start using them. So really nice, as you can see right here, there's one of them, but if we scroll down, we can see all the different types, which are kind of funky and obviously they look pretty much identical to the real deals. So if you do want Android 12 widgets right now on your device, download this app. Coming up at number three is Pastel Walls. This is a really nice wallpaper app and it's where I actually got my home screen wallpaper that I'm using in this video. So scrolling through, a lot of them are kind of strange and childlike and a little bit funky, but there's some pretty cool ones. There's ones of like lemons and various different fruits and they've got different colors. And some of them are quite abstract, like this pineapple one right here. But overall, I just really like them. There's just something different about them, something that just attracts my eye and I really do like them. They're pretty good quality as well and there's a bunch to choose from. But overall, there's some really nice wallpapers in this collection, so go check it out. Now, coming up at number four is Flux. Flux is a super minimal weather app, but it's highly accurate. I've actually been using it for a few weeks now and every single time it says it's gonna rain at say like 5.15, pretty much around that time, it does bang on go ahead and rain. So super accurate wherever they pull the results from. Now, one of my favorite things is just the graphics and the animations, just super slick to use. And when you actually swipe up, it pulls up this animation and you can swipe through it to see the variation in temperature and also the clouds and whether it's gonna rain, be sunny, whatever. It's just super cool the way you scroll through on here. And then swiping down, you see some more information. It does tell you like cloud coverage, humidity, the pressure. There's so much information here. It even shows you the UV index, your sunrise, sunset, your air quality. It's actually pretty cool. And it also tells you about the moon, various different details. Now, something I love is in the settings, you can actually change the pictures and the graphics in this app. So you can go into the icon theme and you can change all the different icons, but then you can also change the illustrations. So you can change the background 
and basically how it displays the weather and there's so many to choose from. But this is definitely one of the most customizable weather apps that I've used and it definitely is one of the nicer looking ones. But you can actually go ahead and change the details, which ones are displayed and which order they come in. There's just so much information and you can even change the data source as well, which is just unreal. But there's just so much in here, including like a morning brief mode, which actually tells you in the morning what the weather is going to be like today. Cool. So if you want a nice weather app with some good graphics, Flux is definitely one to check out. Okay, coming up at number five is Pro Screens. This just brings some really nice inspiration to create a minimal setup on your Android device. So it's basically a community where you can go and share your home screen setups in this feed and you can provide all the links and all the apps and things required to build that home screen setup. And so say I'm scrolling through and I like say this setup right here. I can click on it, it tells me the creator. I can then click on his profile and view other home screens that he's made. But below it will tell you where the wallpaper is from. It will show you the launcher used as well as any widgets used. And you can go and create it for yourself, which is just super nice. But also there's a really nice wallpaper section. So it's kind of like a two in one. And this has some insane shots. Like as a photographer, these are crispy, like damn, damn, they're nice. And then there's this section in the middle where you can actually submit your own home screen and people can vote it the best. And there's actually a list of all the winners here, which are pretty nice. I can say so myself. But then there's also an explore tab so you can view all the free wallpaper apps, all your free icon apps. And there's also a template section as well. So if you want to actually post your home screen setup, you can make it look a lot more beautiful using this app. So go check it out. So coming up at number six is Meteor. Meteor is a really great tracker for Wi-Fi or data speeds. So whenever you're on about, you can actually go ahead and run a speed test and that will actually find out the results and plot it on a map. So you can go and actually view a map of where you have the best coverage or the best speeds. And this is actually really useful because sometimes like I can't get a signal jump in the app and I find out the last place in which I had a signal and I can just go there, get super fast speeds. So after running the speed test, it shows me an app performance section at the bottom here. And so that will tell me pretty much how my apps are gonna cope with the current data speed. So as you can see, COD Mobile is gonna be pretty good, but not as good as it could be. And then jumping over to this test map section, it will show you all the locations tested with the speeds like I mentioned, obviously not gonna show you where I live because I don't wanna be hunted down and killed but you can sort your location based on the best or worst signal. I don't really know why you would sort it on the worst signal. Maybe you're looking to stay away from people. I don't really know. And then there's this really nice coverage section. So if you're looking for say 3G, 4G or 5G, you can configure in here what you're looking for with which provider. So say three, and it will show you on a map where the best coverage is for that. So quite a lot of 5G three, keep up the good work. So coming up at number seven is Privacy Dashboard. This is a really nice app for basically tracking all of the permissions accessed by the apps across your whole device. So say an app uses your camera or your location or your microphone, whatever it may be, this app will track it in the one place and you can go and see what time the app used it for how long. And overall, it's just handy to see if you're being spied on or if anything suspicious is going on. That's pretty much all it does but there's some pretty cool settings. You can change some of the theming options and you can also turn on toggles. So it will actually notify you when a permission is accessed. So if something's dodgy in the background and uses your camera, it's gonna pop up and tell you. So kind of nice to have. So coming up at number eight is Radio Garden. So Radio Garden is actually pretty cool because it gets all the radio stations across the whole world and it plots them on a map. So you can pretty much just see every radio station in the entire world right there. And you can scroll through them. So anything within the bubble, it will automatically select in the center. Then we'll start playing a radio station. So you can scroll through the whole world and listen to radio stations from pretty much anywhere you want, which is just super, super cool. I swear, this is super nice. And then say you don't wanna use the globe feature, you can just go search. So say you wanna to listen to some Los Angeles radio. And then we have all the different LA radio stations. So pretty cool. And we can scroll through and select which one we want to play. We can see the popular ones. It works flawlessly. This is just such a cool app being able to scroll through and experience radio throughout the entire world. Now, number nine on the list is very simple. Have you ever seen like a Google home hub, like this one, when there's like a clock and it like flickers, it's like one of those old clocks they had at like, say like a football game or something. This is actually an alarm clock. So you can actually just put it on a stand at the side of your bed and you can use this as a full on alarm clock and it actually looks like it does on the Google Home Hub. So if you're looking for something like that, pretty neat. That's pretty much all it does, but there's a few settings to tweak. So you can actually change between 12 hour time 
or 24 hour time. But it's not just the clock, it also does go ahead and act as a timer as well. So if you want a cool looking timer that's really easy to see, then this is something you might want to check out. But basically that's all it does, but I just think it's pretty neat. So last up on the list is called Instander, and this is a modded version of the Instagram app. So it's a modded APK and you can download it with a link in the description, but basically allows you to download posts. So there's a download button there and if we click it, it will go ahead and download to our device. And then we can click on a story and then click on the three dots and also download the story. So say there's like a meme page and they're sharing stuff that your friends can't see because it's a private page, which is the most annoying thing. Then you can just download the posts and send it to them. Pretty neat, but you can also do that with stories. Say you see something cool or cinematic and you wanna download it, you can go ahead and do that. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That is the top Android apps of August for 2021. I hope you guys do realize that this is like incredibly hard to find new apps every month that are consistently good. So I do try my best. If you guys have found any apps that I didn't mention that you think are worth like me knowing about, then definitely do let me know in the description. I'm super interested. I love talking to you guys. Just message me, whatever. All my socials are down below, but have a nice day. 50K, here we come. See you guys, peace.